if you just start from a left-handed position, think about where you would step as a lefty in order to throw your left kick. This is where my foot needs to land on the switch. Okay, so from here to right there, I'm already in the position to throw that left kick. So whenever I'm trying to figure this out, where my feet need to be, think about if you start from the opposite stance, where you're stepping, where your weight is at, where your balance is at. When I switch, I'm already there. So just going over that again and again so it becomes much more natural into that left kick on that switch. Most of the time, the mistakes people make is they switch too narrow, too wide, not angled enough, etc., etc. So the biggest thing we want to pay attention to is where our weight lands and also the rotation of our leg. So people tend to switch out too far now. They're, they're throwing themselves into this kick. When I land on my switch, my weight should already be here. So I can just pop up, pivot, and rotate. I'm not switching forward with my leg out. I'm switching into it, bang, here. And that's if I'm driving forward. Either way, my weight's gonna be there. What you can also do with this switch is wherever this leg ends up is gonna dictate where your range is. So I can switch backward, I can switch sideways, I can switch here, I can switch forward, depending on the situation. So the, the, the more variations I have on that, the better, because it's always gonna be different. I don't have a bag sitting in front of me um, where I know where it's gonna be all the time in a realistic sparring fighting situation. So learning all the different variations of foot placement and speed and weight distribution, uh, the more you have the better. Okay, so it's gonna end up being, for me, is more like I'm switching outward this way as the close the forward and back. So when I'm switching, I'm really looking at the direction I'm driving through the target, bang, there, okay? Jumping, switching. Not switching so forward and backward and then trying to pivot and rotate. I'm, 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 I'm cheating half of that by already getting there on the switch and the step and then the leg is just coming up. A few tips in order to make this switch kick better. So we got the left kick down. Now I'm gonna start out with just my normal switch. So that's my full switch into the left kick. So I'm gonna think about this line, what it really is is a half circle, okay? So a full switch is gonna be all the way back. Um, and and, and I'm, I'm slowly gonna learn how to do it less and less and less and less and less into whale. It's just a lead, uh, lead leg kick, or a lead uh, left kick without the switch. So get that switch down, bang, here, boom. And then each time, try to switch a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less, until you can get to a point where there's no switch at all. Now you have this full spectrum that you can use between no switch, where it's just quick and sharp, and a full switch, we're gonna generate a lot more power and speed. So just going over that again and again, slowly going from the full switch, a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less, and eventually you'll learn how to generate a great deal of speed and power with no switch at all. Hope that's helpful. Stay safe, join my cult.